Yo, so what up? It's the return of your boy. We are uh, in the geothermal power plant. Trapped a little bit. Uh, I promise you I didn't kill him. He was already dead when I got here. I promise your honor. We're just kind of exploring right now, but... Uh, there we go. Your climb mechanism's not that good. Let's take a sniff of our thingy and uh, see what we can do. Hopefully I can uh, eat some food or something because we are not doing well. Let's take an Adreno. There we go. See what we get up here. Okay. Um, let's redirect power. We can't. It's operating at 22% efficiency. I feel like we can solve everybody's problem if we could just make it run efficient. But, uh, yeah. So that sucks. Anything else worth having? So yeah, uh, that didn't accomplish three switches. That'll be easy enough. what I had hoped for. So let's see if we can hit these three switches. Alright, we're out in pursuit of these three switches, but also seeing if we can find anything useful. Like this dead guy who has some bit cartridges. Or this terminal. So there is a mechanical's guide to something somewhere. We just have to find it. That's good to know. Somewhere around here there's a... There's a guy with one of the mechanical guides that's one of our side quests. We just have to figure out how to get it from him. Hopefully it's a, a dead guy and not a... Not a machine we have to kill. That was dramatic to go down like six inches. And yes, I am trying to make sure I uh, loot everything before. Nope, I don't want to go back outside. Trying to make sure I loot everything before moving on. Hey, that's impressive. Always stay ready. Oh, buddy. That is the mother load. Uh-oh, I don't like that sound. I don't like the sounds of things I can't identify. Always stay ready. Unlock the door, enter the passcode. Passcode is Spacer Thompson. What a whack password. Never put your name in your password, kids. <clears throat> Stimulotion? The future is full of weird and cool shit. Let me tell you that right now. Hey. I like that she compliments me every time I do something cool. Appreciate it, dog. see what's up with this impact hammer, hey? We're wearing that has four armor. Makeshift low pressure. Yep, we're gonna equip that, buddy. Impact hammer. One-handed. Melee. 142 DPS. It's gotta be better than that, eh? So 
What we want, really want to do is figure out how to get to that switch without being spotted by, uh, by those guys down there because they suck. Of course it's blocked. Shoddy equipped. There's a dead boy. Oh boy. He saw us a little bit. Let's back up. Continue to get our sneak on. As he come up these stairs. She's just sitting there. That's one of the weird, cool things I've always worried about these things. Like... Your friendo will just sit there. Need to close that. Hide in the corner, figure out who we're hiding from. Okay, he's over there. What's his pattern? Going away from us? Continuing to go away from us. Okay, can we sneak over here? We're out of his line of sight. Uh -oh. She went down. At least the door didn't open. That would have sucked. Almost made it. Almost made it. That's really not reassuring. I'm going to be real with you. A little frustrated. These mechanicals are hard as fuck. So as you can tell, I'm not bullshitting nobody. I'm legit bad at this damn game. Ain't no fakes. I can't even hit the right button half the time. Light assault rifle, assault rifle, sawed off shotgun. I have a plasma rifle. That's a bunch of... I think that's what I'm supposed to use. Okay, I think I think the ideal is actually to kill these guys. Just kill them. I'm sick of fucking around with them. Okay, that's way better. That's way easier than the shit I've been doing. I'm not gonna lie to you. Shit I've been doing is whack. My poor guy died over here just hiding out. What have we got here? I don't know what that is. But now that I've discovered that we can just like vaporize these guys, I'm a little less worried than I was previously. Really just whisper nice one to me? 
All right, he's still like walking around searching for me, and I'm not where he's looking, I don't think. Crit. It's a little better now. All right, cool, cool, cool. Today I learned energy ammo zaps them. What's in here? Full riot armor. That's what's up. Worth. Poor buddy. It's okay, buddy. I'll avenge your death. With my zap zap. Like I'm fucking playing Jinx. This guy got shot in the back while he was eating. What the hell? What happened here? Go away, Phantom. Okay. You don't gotta tell me twice, buddy. Self, it's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. Hostile actions towards Spacer's choice mechanics are So we saved Jeremy earlier. Directed. Now Jeremy is helping us out. All hostile auto mechanicals must be defective in compliance with Spacer's choice policy. Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. All right, cool. Still don't know what those things are. If I'd have gotten there earlier, I'd have had less of a problem. Ooh, I forgot you can't. Two more. Can't just jump like What'll that. What will happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? Get away! Who's screaming at me? It's close now. He's screaming, screaming. He's not having a good day. Gosh, that's clever. It is, though, ain't it? So I can put things on my things. I want to put a scope, ranged weapon mod, magazine, increase the amount of ammunition magazine carries. Or I can put a super scoper on it. Oh my god. Get scalded. Make a valid point. Let's go up and see what we get. Of course, of course. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, all right. That's pretty sick. Maybe doing that damage. I'm off. I thought Jeremy was going to be doing some work or something. What 
you do it, Jeremy? Because I'm catching some damage, buddy. That was maybe a poor plan. I don't be having the best plan sometimes. But I lit that man up. Should have put it on my light ammo guy. I thought Jeremy was going to be doing his work. Jeremy ain't done shit. Unless he already died. Did I not follow Jeremy? I feel so bad for these people. Like, I'm just walking around like, mm, they're already dead. I'm gonna loot it. Let's go up here. So what happens if I do this? I'm guessing each one has a... Last. I'm not sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. This is true. So we kind of fucked over the people we liked. Let's see what happens. I did leave Higgins down there. We should probably see about saving Higgins. Where'd that boy go? I don't remember how to get to him. He was just down there screaming like a baby. No, 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 just leave me alone. How do I get down there to help him? Oh, that's Jeremy. What'd it do, baby? This is how we went up. Okay, that sucked a little bit. Fuck it. go see what Jeremy's up to. Like, why is he screaming? Or Higgins. Higgins, not Jeremy. There's gotta be a way to get to him, right? I'm just literally just running around trying to get to the screamy guy. I got like a three inch vertical in this bitch. You're not real. You're not real. Where are you, bro? How do I get down there? Oh, there we go. Not real. You're not real. My guy is having a breakdown. Hopefully he doesn't try and shoot it out with us. I feel like we should have tried to save him first. No, no, no. Just leave me alone. Where you at, bro? You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. Okay. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Clearly, I mistook you for one of the Phantoms of my imagination. My guy's having a moment. on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Ooh, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. 
My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Oh, Higgins has huh. done many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all for my old workroom just over. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. My guy. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. My guy is nuts. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Jimmy opened <laughs> the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. Okay. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them. Maintained. Upgraded. Did it... Oh, before. Definitely before. Sissy Pig Tycoonery was the apex of my long and storied career. Jimmy'd open the vending machine. All right. So we got a sweet level up. I'll leave my guy with an impact hammer. Let's see. Uh, we want to just get more ranged and some more dialogue and some more stealth. We just really just want to be able to like shoot people from far away. And if they get close, talk them out of shooting us. All right. So where the fuck am I going now, buddy? You do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just got to ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came okay. Once. She wants me to protect Edgewater. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hardworking folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's... Plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, she likes me. No one's ever told me those words in that order. Okay, so she thinks I'm going to destroy Edgewater. 
I don't want to do either of these. So this is a tough choice. I have to choose between saving the lady who managed to make things grow on this alien planet or saving the corporate town. Ha 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 ha, not tough. Screw the town. She's gonna be mad. All right. I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are going to be all right now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. That's on account of how I never met her. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Oh, that's right. We He's saved her boyfriend, too. Fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. I'm just glad he's alive. Oh. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Oh, so she likes the kid. Let's see if we can escape this without, like, dying. Not sure how. Can I just walk out the front door? Can maybe just walk out the front door. This way? And there we go, we walk out the front door. Who knew? I'm actually really surprised they just let you walk out the front door. Uh, let's see if there's any consequences to our actions, like a kill mob outside. And what do you know? There's a kill mob outside. But they're also fighting each other. That does no damage. That does some damage. That does a little damage too. You should always make sure your shit can't be damaged by your own shit. Oh, come on, buddy. I hit a giant... mechanical thing with a hammer. That seems dumb. I'm no scientist, but that seems dumb. Alright, we killed the goon squad. Is there anybody else who wants beef? Barely made it. I think her health like slowly regens and mine doesn't or some shit. Okay. I don't see any enemies nearby. There is a dead scientist. In a box with some Adreno. What is this? Had we not looted all this before? I thought we did. Okay. Well, there you go. We have saved... Not the town, because fuck corporate. And you can put that on everything. I'm always going to say fuck corporate. So this is gonna, obviously going to be a 
interesting playthrough because Spacer's Choice is not going to be our homies. Anyway, feel free, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell me I'm pretty, come through repeatedly. Uh, you can also check me. It's been going around above my head on various social media platforms, um, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, um, YouTube, which you are most likely watching this on. And uh, we'll play all sorts of games. Right now, uh, we're obviously playing this. So thank you and feel free to tune in to episode four coming soon-ish.